Here's a 2016 Toyota Sienna XLE all-wheel drive, 27,000 mile, one owner with a clean Carfax, and really a pretty kind of smoky blue color. Now this is a rare vehicle, guys. Honestly, I'll be dead honest, I didn't even know you could still get an all-wheel drive minivan. It's such a hard thing to come by anymore, and here it is, Toyota makes it. This is a beautiful 16 XLE. XLE is the top trim. So we're gonna have a lot of amenities to show you, starting with the high intensity headlamps there. You can see the integrated fogs in the lower bumper fascia. It does have some chrome accents throughout the grill and throughout the lower fascia, kind of break up the monotony. Continue around to the side, you can see a multi-spoke, split-spoke alloy wheel here. Uh, it's got good rubber on it. Uh, looks like a Bridgestone tire, probably about half tread. I'd say six, seven, 30 seconds. Also, as we peek through that wheel, you can see a nice resurfaced rotor and thick brake pad. It's one thing we really pride ourselves here at Thomas. We do use car mechanical check on all our vehicles. You can find the results of that inspection signed off by the technician that performed it in the glove box of all of our cars. Taking a peek in through the passenger side front seat area, you can see that we have a full power passenger seat here. We got uh, light tan uh, covered uh, leather captain's chairs with a full console in between. You also have some nice synthetic wood grain that splits up a, a light gray uh, kind of beige combo here throughout. Kind of breaks up the monotony. It's not a single color dash or door panel. Again, you can see some of those wood grain highlights. But it lets you know right away that you are driving in a premium trim. It's got a good look to it. And as you can see, another nice feature as I pull on the door handle is the power doors. Now, another thing I'll show you with the key fobs is you can access the power doors as well as the power lift gate with the key fob. So we can go ahead and open either of the doors. We can also open the hatch, whatever we want all through the key fob here, as you can see. Um, now, we do have uh, these, these seats do not fold in, obviously, with the ability to have all-wheel drive, a drive line has to run back to the back. So these vehicles, they, they, these seats do slide. Uh, and as you can see, they're very spacious, all kinds of ample hip, uh, leg, hip, and shoulder room for your rear occupants. And if you need a little more room for the back, you just slide these, these seats up. You see the track here, the seats slide and glide very easily. Uh, so it kind of allows you to customize the leg room that you need, whether you need a little more in the back or a little more in the mid row. Um, so let's go ahead and shut this door. Typically, we've got a button. Here's one right here. Press that, automatically shuts the door. And I just want to show you the matching tires on the back here. Bridgestone about the same uh, depth as the rest and as you can see the wheels in good shape No scuffs or scrapes. We'll continue around to the back there You can see the XLE badging as well as the all-wheel drive badging also want to show you it is equipped with a factory backup camera Let's go ahead and pop the power uh, uh, lift gate and My apologies. I uh, don't know the fob says it's a power lift gate uh, but uh, Maybe it is not, so I don't want to show you otherwise. It didn't come up on his own. I was just going off of the fob. So it looks like we have power doors, not the power left gate. But there you see, these seats do fold into the floor, as you can see. So we are able to fold and tumble the rear row seats. We just cannot on the center. Uh, but as you can see, they're very simple, as simple as one, two, three. You can see the pool handles there, instructions on the back. Uh, but, uh, you know, nice, nice feature to be able to stow away those rear seats if you need a little more... Uh, it is a power lift gate. I knew it was. I knew it was. There it goes with the touch of a button. Sorry, that's operator error. We'll continue around to the side here. Uh, we do have matching wheels and tires as well. And then let's go ahead and show you. Now that we know it has a power lift gate, the other door is power as well. And there you can see very clean interior. No rips, tears, stains, or odors. Previous owner was a non-smoker. Again, just press this button. We'll shut the door. Continue up to the front. You can see a full power driver's seat with lumbar. Uh, just like the passenger seats are very well equipped again. Just a quick recap of this key fob integrated uh, keyless entry There's your power doors. There's your power hatch. There's your panic button uh, Let's continue the tour. We do have two of these key fobs by the way got your windows locks and mirrors located right there on the door panel Also like to show you we do keep a copy of the auto history report on the dash You can see one owner no accidents clean title and brand Excellent score on the auto history report. Let's go ahead and uh, put our foot in the brake press the start button And we'll just kind of go as it clears here. I'll uh, show you the exact miles uh, you can see 27,306 factory Original miles. Let's continue the tour We have the ability to open and shut your power rear vents Turn on and off your traction control system turn on and off your um, ultrasonic uh, park sense Here's your ability to turn on and off your blind spot monitoring. So it's a little indicator here. Obviously it's a heated mirror, power folding heated, but it also has the blind spot so it'll light up uh, if anybody gets in your corners that you can't see. 
headlamp control there is on the outside stem with your intermittent wiper washers, high beams and turn signals. Sorry, high beams and turn signals. Intermittent, intermittent wiper washers are on the right. Uh, we also got your uh, Bluetooth buttons right here. We have your uh, uh, audio controls on your steering wheel. Got your cruise control on the third stem down here. And then we have your ability to customize your dash. As you can see right now, it's showing average fuel economy and distance till empty. I also can talk that toggle down to your current fuel economy instant and your average speed. You can see your uh, different tripometers are here. There's your all-wheel drive monitor to let you know when it's kicked in and when it is not. We can go over to the next. There's a compass for you. It shows your audio. Right now the system's off, but it'll tell you what audio mode you're in. And then, of course, you got your text message alert there. So it's all uh, toggled with that right there. Uh, also, as you can see, it is equipped with the factory nav. Okay. Just to show you real quick here, there's your full screen factory nav. Let's go home. We also got your audio, AM, FM, and uh, Sirius XM. Of course, you got the ability to pair your phone. So very well equipped there. We got a, a floor shifter here or a column shifter, I guess you would say here, right in the middle. Does have sport mode, which gives you the ability to select any of the gears of the multi-speed transmission. Do have tri-zone automatic temperature control, driver, passenger, and rear. With the rear lockout, if you want to take full control up front, uh, as you can see, all your climate controls are right there. Now down here, it is also equipped with heated driver and passenger seats through these little knobs and you do have your USB, your audio, and your 12 volt power supply right there as well. It looks like a little cup holder that pops out, nice. A little area to keep some of your belongings. Two large cup holders down here in this console and if we pop this door, which I do believe it pops, however I'm having a little trouble with it. Ah. Now maybe have to uh, play with that a little more but it, there is a uh, this will pop up and there is an area there to uh, keep some some belongings hidden and safely uh, finally we do have the power moonroof and the LEDs you also have your buttons for your power doors and your power hatch surrounding it there's your moonroof LED lights just show you the glass up top there you have it and uh, then we have illuminated visors so there you see the uh, auto dim on your rearview mirror with the compass also got your SOS in there so uh you know this this van has it all guys fully equipped uh, let's go ahead and pop there's your uh, foot pedal for your emergency brake uh i just popped the fuel door didn't want to do that i want to pop the hood there's a hood release right beside it also the ability to shut those doors off power doors if you'd like let's continue around here take a peek underneath should have a uh, v6 variable valve timed engine Quick little peek here at it. There you see, very clean. No exhaust leaks, no fluid leaks, no corrosion on any of the electrical terminals. Very well maintained by the previous owner. Obviously only 27,000 miles, but as you can see, very, very clean and well kept. Now I'm going to shut the car off and we'll get into the last portion of the video. Now as we've already spoken, uh, keep a copy of the mechanical evaluation in the glove box, on a history report on the dash. Last part of making an informed buying decision is uh, the cosmetic appearance. Real quickly here, and I apologize, it did rain, so I got some water drops, so I got to kind of look around here, but uh, really just trying to point out any minor imperfection, uh, dents, things, scrapes, uh, anything that would make this otherwise uh, less than perfect. Obviously, it's a used vehicle. It's going to have some minor imperfections, but as I quickly walk around this vehicle, I really can't see anything that stands out at me. No major dings, scrapes, scuffs. Obviously, a minor chip here or there, but for the most part, very much a like new alternative. It's really what we want to give you guys. Obviously, vehicles depreciate most, the most in the first three years of ownership. So we try to keep vehicles that are low mileage, one, two to three years old. Let the first owner take the biggest hit on depreciation. Give yourself a very nice value, which we have right here. A couple little scuffs and scrapes right there on the uh, front bumper cover. But other than that, really looks pretty good. A few little small liner chain chips right across the hood here. But otherwise, very much a light new alternative. Now, this vehicle does still have the remaining comprehensive and powertrain warranties transferable from Toyota to the next owner, so you can buy this vehicle with confidence. Now, if you're interested, there's a few ways of getting a hold of us. Look us up on the web, www.thomasata.com, or give us a call at area code 717-485-4224.
Again, my name is Kevin Richards. I appreciate your time watching this video. I hope you found it beneficial, and I wish you an excellent day.